One day to go until former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris meet face to face for their first and likely only debate. Both candidates spent the weekend preparing for the debate. This, as new polling suggests, the presidential race is tightening. KTLA's Eric Spillman here with more. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. Morning, Jessica. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump have never met each other. They've never even been in the same room. But tomorrow night, they'll sit next to each other for 90 minutes for a debate that will draw a huge audience. Are you ready, Madam Vice President? Ready. On a walk with her husband, Doug Emhoff, Harris says she is prepared for the debate. For the last few days, she's been holed up in a hotel in Pittsburgh holding mock debates with her advisors. Donald Trump is at his home in Mar-a-Lago. He says he does not do traditional debate prep. He's been taking part in policy discussions with his aides. Both candidates have said they're looking forward to getting their messages out. I look forward to the debates because I think we have to set the record straight. If you've got something to say, say it to my face. The debate will be broadcast on ABC and held at the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia. The moderators are ABC anchors David Muir and Lindsey Davis. There will not be an audience. Harris and Trump will stand behind podiums. They'll each get a pen, a pad of paper, and a bottle of water. Mics will be muted when it's not a candidate's turn to speak. Trump won the coin toss, so he gets the last closing statement. It's a huge opportunity to reach a lot of people. Debates are always big news, but uh, this one may be more significant, according to people who study presidential debates. It's time to turn the page on the divisiveness. Um, it's time to bring our country together, chart a new way forward. She's a threat to democracy. There was a... Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. I'm not a threat. I'm the opposite. I'm going to I'm keeping democracy. The race is just about tied. According to a New York Times Siena poll, Trump leads Harris nationally 48 to 47 percent. That is well within the margin of error. It could indicate, though, uh, that support for Harris is beginning to plateau. This same poll reveals an important difference in voters' perceptions of the two candidates. When asked if they need to learn more about Donald Trump, only 12 percent said yes. 87% answered they already know what they need to know about him. But as for Kamala Harris, the same question, 31% said they need to learn more, and 67% said they already know what they need to know about her. So the poll indicates that while a majority of voters have a fixed opinion of Trump, there's a pretty good chunk of them who say they want to find out more about Harris's positions. The debate could provide that opportunity. It begins at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, and it will be simulcast right here on KTLA 5. Frank?